Hi everyone. We're back again to share more of our computational fluid dynamics study with you. As you might recall in the last video, we shared how our model of an unmasked person coughing in the studio four times in a 10 minute period compelled us to have a 100% mask mandate in our office. That is our staff would wear masks at all times in all office public areas and would only be able to remove masks in single occupancy rooms. So the next logical step was to model a masked infected person in our office to first determine if we had an issue and then secondly, begin to consider architectural mitigations. In the second animation, we've modeled our infected individual coughing four times in the same 10 minute period. The first notable thing here is that compared to the last rendering, the red cloud, which is five times the human infectious dose, instead of being transported 30 feet across the studio, is almost completely contained to the immediate workstation. However, and surprisingly, the light blue to green cloud, which is between 100 and 300 percent of the human infectious dose, can still travel more than 20 feet, with some of the cloud traveling even 50 to 60 feet. The conclusion here is that if you're indoors for an extended period of time with someone who has contracted the coronavirus, six feet in a mask could be a false sense of security. The mask is extremely useful in containing a droplet cloud, but it's not 100% effective. Those leaked droplets, as we've illustrated, can travel at least 30 feet in a cloud. And yes, being exposed to that cloud for just a few seconds might be harmless. But in an office environment where you sit for hours, you could have a high likelihood of inhaling those droplets even while wearing a mask. There are ways of greatly reducing the risk of transmission, like more air changes, diluting the indoor air, compartmentalization of space, and even light sterilization. And in our next video, we will begin to discuss some of those ideas. If you have any questions or you'd like to talk more about these studies, please email me at sh at holt.com. Take care and stay safe.